We have another five minutes. This is uh, Peter, summer lad. Less code equals more software. It's going to encourage you to value simplicity in software more. And he teaches C++, modern software engineering, and patterns to students, and works with the students and assistants on the to be become the best C++ IDE CVELOP. That's your goal, yes? Yeah. OK. I have to stand here. Yeah, better. Less code equals more software. I stole that from Kevin Haney, who inspired me to continue that. And we heard today already from Brianna that we should write simpler code. And that's what I'm talking about. The biggest thing that hurts our profession is complexity. And it's not only the complexity in language and tools, but what I think is the complexity in the stuff we create. And there has been, uh, Fred Brooks was calling out for accidental complexity versus inherent complexity. There might be things that are inherently complicated or complex, like solving partial differential equations. <laughs> but we add so much extra complexity to our solutions that we often hide what the underlying complexity might be. And it's very often much easier to create a complicated solution to a not so complex problem than to really solve the problem. And we've seen, some of you might have seen Herb Sutter's singly linked list yesterday. And there was some discussion about single linked lists. Usually, recursive data structures as a computer science student, it's one of the hardest problems you encounter when you first encounter some problem, because that's something beyond what you learn in school or in high school. And so the, that's the complicated thing you had to had, get your head around, and you were taught that. So the first thing in your first job is you write your own recursive data structure, which is the worst thing you might you should do, especially with good libraries that provide that for you today everywhere. And the thing is, complexity starts in the small. Every single line of code that we write, you should think about first, do I need it at all? Can I express my solution simpler, in a simpler way? And do I really need it again? So what I want to instill to you is value simplicity, not just it works, but oh, I invested in making the solution simple and elegant and using only that what is actually necessary to solve it. Yeah, one key thing is good abstractions. And with C++, we have a language that allows us splendidly to express abstract concepts simple, at least on the usage side. Sure, there. Some edges we have to work hard to get around so that the implementations get also simpler. But once you find the good abstractions, do it, implement them. Second thing that makes things complicated or complex is managing dependencies. Don't get too many dependencies in your code. Avoid global variables, because these are dependencies you never see and make stuff simpler. And it's not a new thing. One of our heroes in our profession, Tony Hoare, has two famous quotes. One is that I like a lot. Inside every large program, there's a small program trying to get out. And my tooling that I do about refactoring and making stuff simpler is heavily inspired by that. I even work on Let's say my research headline is decremental development. Make software 10% its size. Not reduce the size by 10%, but make it an order of magnitude smaller by keeping the essential functionality. And that's not easy, but it can be worth it, especially when we enter into million lines of code system where an order of magnitude really, really can make a difference. And 
So the, the other quote is, there are two, uh, two ways of constructing software design. One is make it so simple that there are, no ob ob there are obviously no deficits. And the other way, make it so complicated, there are no obvious deficiencies. Both are possible. Uh, you can guess which one will get you a better working solution and which is harder to do. And that's what I already said, decremental development. Try to make your software simpler and smaller. And I'm not talking about abbreviate all uh, identifiers to single letters or even underscores. That's it. <laughs>